Hello guys and first of all thank you so much for your tremendous response on my previous video and I will keep on creating such informative and useful videos so keep sharing keep loving and keep supporting and now let's get started all right so to create our canyon we are going to use the real world scan data and then we'll manipulate it according to our use so there are multiple ways to get that scan data into blender there's a gis add-on you can see here you can use this or you can use the render doc uh, process but that works sometimes and sometimes it doesn't and another method is that on uh, sketchfab you can see multiple people have uploaded really great scanned datas so for example here we have antelope canyon by Decatta and this is a really large chunk of the Grand Canyon so we are going to use this model for our purpose so let's download it all right so here we are in blender this is the file and now we are going to use a simple curve and array pattern so we need a straight patch of this uh, canyon file so I'm going to use this this face right here so to use it let me just go to edit mode and just select this patch over here so alt Z to x-ray mode so that all the faces are selected and just drag select this much area press shift D to duplicate it and escape and go to mesh separate selection so if I hide it now I have this patch all right so here I have copied two patches this one and this one and just straighten them a little bit and put them in front of each other so this is a small patch of the canyon now we need the bottom river so of course we can use the river from this model itself but as you can see it's too blurry so what I have used here is that I just went to Google map and this Colorado River I just uh, searched for a simple patch like this one here and I just quickly grabbed it and in Krita I just refined it a little bit to create a good enough texture and then I'll just create a simple plane here and apply the river texture over it so here it is the simple plane and I'll just move it into the position somewhere like here great now I will join all these three so shift select and press ctrl J so this is one patch that we can now array and apply a curve modifier all right so let's create a curve so shift a go to curve and bezier curve i'll just rotate it in z direction and scale it a bit edit it to be in parallel direction and move it somewhere around starting of this press ctrl a to apply scale now select our part now go to modifiers and apply a array modifier and in fill type select fit curve and in curve select our bezier curve and now we'll go to constant offset and in constant offset just change the distance of x to 0 and we want our uh, part to be arrayed in y direction so in y give a value of 1 and you can just increase this value to match your part so maybe about two and a half maybe 3.5 is good and now let's add a curve modifier so select curve and again select a bezier curve and deform axis x 
so now if you just edit this uh, curve you can see it will just now your curve modifier may give you uh, some crazy results uh, but don't worry just apply the rotation or try to match the endpoints of this curve to this part and uh, try to change it to y or z and you will get the right rotation all right so 70 percent of our part is done and as you can see this part has pretty much dense geometry and i have also subdivided the river plane so it easily follows the uh, curvature of this Bezier curve so if i edit this and let me delete all the vertices go to top plane and if i click on this draw and just draw a shape you can see it clearly follows it but now in this part we have a problem that uh, it is visibly repetitive so you can see because it's a single patch and it repeats it so there's a symmetry and repetitiveness and we are gonna break this symmetry by using geometry nodes and add some patches in between all right so let's copy some more uh, patches from our original model so i'll just grab some faces like somewhere from here so again go to edit mode and just select these faces and this time i'm gonna select some small patches so that i can just fill in between so maybe like this one shift d and mesh separate selection and i'll pull this up so gz all right so here you can see i have just uh, copied these much uh, patches and i have just put them in one collection so i have just modified all these uh, patches and uh, i have just created this shape so that these are uh, protruding outside and then i have just put their uh, pivot point in the bottom like this one here okay so now let's create our geometry node so let me add a mess so like plane and click on new in the geometry node area and we do not need this plane so control right click drag to cut this node and now let's uh, just drag our uh, Bezier curve here so here it is now press shift a go to instances and instance on point and again shift a and search for curve to point So here it is curve two points and just plug the curve geometry to this one and point to instance and now we need our uh, collection of patches to feed into this instance on point node so again just drag select this collection plug this geometry into instance and click on both these and also pick instance and now plug the instance to geometry and you can see it is instanced all along our curve and it is picking the uh, random instance from our collection now we can increase this uh, count so you can increase it here however because we want to just uh, break the symmetry so i'll just keep it at about 19 maybe some more like this and because our uh, origin point or the pivot point is uh, in the bottom so we can just move it towards this direction so for that i'll just add a transform node so shift a transform and I 
and I'll put this transform node between the collection and the instance. So right here, I'll just move these in the x direction right here so that these merge with the original part. So you can see. And now let's tackle the uh, rotation. As you can see, it is coming outwards. So, so for that, we'll add a Euler rotate node. So shift A and search for E U L A R. So, and now I'll add it here. So let me just bring these down, bring it here. And the rotation of curve to point node goes into rotation of uh, Euler and output rotation goes to instance rotation and now you can just select local and rotate it in required direction so this is x bring it at 90 so now you can see it's properly matched okay so now let's do the same thing on this uh, other side as well so i'm gonna just drag select all these nodes shift d to duplicate these and now i'll add a join geometry node and plug this one output into a geometry node as well so here and if i hide the original uh, part and let me select our part so right now these are uh, copied same so these are instanced on top of each other but uh, we have this uh, transform node here on the second one so we can rotate it 180 in the z direction so let's put 180 so it is on the opposite side and also we'll move it from negative x to positive x so maybe 0.3 great now let's turn on our original mesh let me translate it more and let's give it a random seed so just increase some count all right so we are pretty much done uh, there's one more thing that i want to add so let me just add quickly a curve so you can see it is uh, working fine but right now if i draw this type of shape i want to fill this inner area so that it looks more uh, like a shape of that uh, grand canyon so to do that let's just go to our node setup and i'm just gonna fill this curve so let me create a node shift a fill curve and this is our object so i'll just add this geometry to curve let me bring these here and if i join it right here you can see this is the filled geometry and it is at the curve itself and we want it on the top face here so i'll again add a transform node and just bring it up something like here and now because it is on top of the curve and it starts from the middle goes from the middle to middle so i'll just cut it from here and to cut it I need uh, another object so let's create another object so shift a search for circle I'll use curve circle and let's create another curve so curve to mesh and i'll just select our original curve as the input so bring this one into this and this curve circle i'll drag 
over that curve. So let me show you the output geometry of this node. So here it is. And I'll cut with the radius of this circle. So let me just increase it and increase it up to this mark so that it cuts our plane from here and to cut the plane I'm gonna use the boolean so search for boolean mesh boolean let me just cut this all and in boolean first I'll add our uh, fill node and then the cutter is the curve node select this hole tolerant and also in curve to mesh you can just select this fill gaps so it creates a closed boundary and now if you add this to geometry you can see our plane is just inside all right so now to fill this uh, plane with the top patches i have again copied these top patches from that same model and uh, I have uh, copied all these into a separate collection you can see the top patch and now just drag this top patch collection here and we'll distribute these top patches onto this face so just add a distribute point on face node here I'll just select this mesh plug it into distribute let me cut it from here and now we need a instance node so again instance on points plug the instance geometry to instance and points to points and again click on these two and pick instance and now this instance to the final join geometry so now you can see all these patches are instanced over this face so now it is filled all right so this is how i have created this uh, procedural uh, canyon type of thing and i'll put a link in the description to download this original blend file so that you can play with this yourself and uh, just go to top view like this and uh, select this main curve edit it and click on draw and draw any shape that you want and it will create the canyon so i'll see you in the next video thank you so much keep supporting and subscribe bye bye